Good morning, church. It's nice to see you again this morning so we can come together to worship our Lord together. Um, first of all, I know that some of you are our guests this morning. Uh, this is your first time to come to our church to worship with us because this morning you know that you'll come here to join our baptism. You came here to uh, witness your loved ones, your families, your friends uh, to be baptized this morning. So what is baptism? Baptism is an act of faith. Baptism is also an act of worship. It is a declaration made by those go through it concerning their decision to become Jesus Christ followers. It is a time for Christians to confess their commitment of following Jesus in public. And it is surely one of the important steps in their Christian life. So this morning, we have four brothers and sisters among us who decided to go through baptism to make these declarations. It is their intention to to confess, to profess their faith in front of the whole church, before their friend, before their family, and affirm that it is their lifelong decisions to become a disciple of Christ. So this morning, shall I introduce to you our baptized baptism candidates, Avina, <laughs> Natalie, Nathan, and Kristen. So, Avina, Natalie, Nathan, Kristen, today you stand before us to receive the sacraments of baptism. So I ask you, therefore, before God and Christ Church, to reject evil, to profess your faith in Christ Jesus, and to confess the faith of the church. Do you rely on God's promises to renounce sin and to reject the power of evil in your daily life? I I renounce them. Who is your Lord and Savior? Jesus Jesus Christ Christ is my my Lord Lord and Savior. Savior. Will you follow Jesus Christ, obey his word, and proclaim his love to the world? I will, and I ask God to help me. Do you believe in God? I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. Do you believe in Jesus Christ? I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. The third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. All right, since you all have told us what you believe this morning, let us proceed to our baptism. I was born into a Christian family. Growing up, I had the typical Christian child package. I went to church every Sunday, attended Sunday school, as well as going to Awana. Growing up, I never really felt God's presence in my life, and I never really felt the need to build a relationship with Him. It wasn't until the end of grade six where I decided to go to Awana Scholarship Camp during the summer. For the first time, I felt God's presence in my life and I felt the need to build a relationship with Him. After this camp, I realized that I should begin my journey with God and to build a relationship with God. I realized that even though I may go through some struggles sometimes, I know that God is always with me and that He'll be going through my struggles alongside with me. I am ready to build an even stronger relationship with God and to put my trust in Him and that no matter what happens, He is there and He is a loving and forgiving God. Avina, upon your professions of faith in Christ Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior, with the witness of the whole church, I now baptize you into the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.
Before knowing God, I didn't really have a purpose in life. I went along with what everyone else did, no questions asked. However, in grade eight, I started to question my relationship with God and if it was actually there. I started to pay more attention in Bible classes at school and what people at church told me. In the beginning of 2018, I went to Missions Fest and that's where I finally came to believe in what everyone was telling me all my life. That night, I prayed to God and it honestly changed my life for the better. At times, I'll fall apart and question every choice I make, but by taking this step, I hope that in the future when that happens, I'll know to always turn to God and to always trust in Him. Natalie, upon your profession of faith in Christ Jesus as your personal Savior and Lord, with the witness of the whole church, I now, pro I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Ever since I was young, I was raised in a Christian home. This meant going to church every Sunday, fellowship after church, Awana on Saturdays, and VBS during summertime. Even after going to all these church events, I wasn't completely sure if God was real. That's when I began to question my peers, people from Koinonia Church, my parents, and especially people at Axe Fellowship. And after hearing their answers, I do believe that God logically exists and that there is a God. And although I may not be that Christian boy that gets excited to go to church every single time, I do believe that God is very real and I do wish to continue to pursue a deeper relationship with Him. Nathan, upon your profession of faith in Christ Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior, with the witness of the whole church, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Kristen. Growing up in a Christian community, I was always surrounded by people who loved and served God. But without knowing it, I slowly became desensitized to this, and I grew farther away from Him. There came to a point in middle school, around grade 7 or grade 8, where I wanted to rekindle the relationship that I had with Him when I was younger. Due to this realization, my mindset was changed and I was really able to see the wonders of God's love. When imagining what my life would be like without Jesus, I ultimately knew in my heart that I needed Him. His amazing actions and blessings are shown through the lives of my family and friends. And with this, I'm extremely grateful that I was given the opportunity to grow up in such a loving community. Today, I'm ready to get baptized to show that I'm willing to dedicate my life to Jesus and that I wish to continue on serving Him in all aspects of my life. You know, I'm the one feeling very nervous at this moment. I remember that many years ago, um, we, the whole family, we joined a baptism service uh, in another church. And uh, Christians witnessed me how, baptize, how to baptize people in the baptism pool. And after the service, and um, I, I, I still remember when, when she was very, very little, and she just she asked me questions. What, 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 what were you doing, Daddy? Uh, I said, I, I was baptizing people. And uh, she asked, what is baptism anyway? And then I explained to her in a very simple answers. And uh, afterward, um, uh, she asked me, will you baptize me? And I said, yeah, one day. I will make it happen. One day. And today is the day. And as a father and a pastor, this is my honor and this is my joy. Kristen, upon your... Kristen, upon your professions of faith in Christ Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior, with the witness of the whole church, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Brother and sister, let us stand. And we have a word of prayer. 
Let us pray. Our heavenly Father, in your love, you call, you have called us to know you. Let us to trust you, and bound our life with yours. May you surround Avina, Natalie, Nathan, Kristen, with your love. Protect them from evil. Fill them with the Holy Spirit, and receive them into the family of your church, that they may walk with us in the wave of Christ Jesus and grow in the knowledge of your love. And we all pray in the name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Let's applause and give all the glory and thankful to our Lord, our Lord in the heaven. You may be seated.